what is going on guys so today we're going to be using the heritage 22 revolver but we're not shooting normal stuff today we're going to be using 22 shot shell now these things actually look pretty weird here let me show you it's kind of weird seeing these like this is what this bullet looks like and let me grab a 22 and show you what a 22 looks like. So this is the shot shell right here. This is a normal 22. Got these little caps right here. See that cap right there? Compared to the normal 22 bullet, which looks like that. So we're gonna shoot a couple of these. Now this is what we're shooting. CCI shot shell 22 long rifle made for pests some people say that they run it in their gun so we'll see this is what I got set up for you guys today we're gonna be using these targets right here one two three four five six we're gonna start at Three feet, five feet, 10, 12, 15, and then it goes out to 20 feet. So before we shoot the actual shot shell, we're gonna start by shooting normal 22 long rifle out of this uh, revolver. And we'll start at the three feet, work our way all the way back to the 20 feet. I'm gonna use the top right target for the normal ones. And then as we get further and further back, then I'll reuse that target for one of the ones that I highly doubt will hit. But we're gonna rate this ammo on performance at various distances, see where it's most effective, but I think it's gonna be more effective in the single digits than it is a little bit further away, but we'll see. start at three feet and we're gonna work our way back all right barrel at five feet ten feet twelve feet Fifteen feet. And twenty feet. All right, let's see how we did. It's not too bad. They all hit. Let's load up the snake shot. And we'll see how well it does at various distances. I think it should do pretty good at various distances. We'll see. The skaters are bugging me. Here we go, snake shot. Three feet. Ooh, not bad. Five feet. Ten feet. Is that twelve feet? Fifteen feet. You know, there's not really too much power whenever it comes back, because it does ricochet a little bit. And twenty feet. 
All right, let's see how it did. We caught a little bit right there. This right here is three feet. If y'all can see that, but that's three feet. This is five feet. 10 feet, 12 feet, and we got 15 feet down here, and then that right there is 20 feet. It did catch some of these right here, I don't know how well y'all can see that, but it caught a little bit of it, it's not too bad, it definitely does really good at 3 feet, and then you get more of a spread coming at 5 feet. But all of them still hit. You got more bullseyes, some bullseyes. This one right here didn't really hit the bullseyes. But this one, we had three of them hit. Down here, we had one come close. And then down here, it just got further apart. But, I mean, all in all, it didn't really do too bad. So we're going to put six clays up there, one by one, so they don't all fall off. And then we'll kind of go from there. We'll see how well they do breaking each clay. All right, we're gonna start off at three feet. This is five feet. Moving on back to 10 feet. impressed with that one look how this one broke it hit dead center of it but it didn't shatter the outside edge all right this is 12 feet this is what 12 feet did so you can see the holes going through it one right here This here is 15 feet. 15 feet did about that much damage compared to the 10, or compared to the 12. This here is 15 feet, here's 12 feet. 20 feet right here. Here we go. I don't really think that did a whole lot of damage. Let's check it out. At 20 feet, okay, 20 feet. That's about as much damage as you'll get. One, two, only three holes. A couple of different BBs went in there. We got some hits, but no actual breaks. Now, compared to the 15, okay, this is this is 20 feet away, a couple holes. This here's the 15, and this here's the 12. So for this gun to be lethal as a pest, like for this uh, using shot shell and your 22 heritage, you're gonna want to stay. I mean, you might be able to get away with 15 feet, but I would say anything 12 and below that you'll be pretty lethal but i'm gonna load up six more and we're just gonna shoot the clays on the ground from like maybe like you're you're killing a snake you know you'll just be pointing it pointing like right down and say oh there's a snake let me shoot it so we'll see how effective that is we'll also put all these down maybe it's like a thicker hide animal and we'll see all right let's see This one's the thicker one. Now for this one, from about three to five feet away, it did pretty good damage on the top, as you can see. It did really good damage. And it left some of the bigger chunks, but overall that'd be a kill. So we'll do these ones from a little further away. Ooh, check this one out. 
This one didn't really do any damage at all. And we'll do the same thing for this one as well. So you know that one did a little bit better. See that one did good too. This one blew out the center. This one annihilated it. But this one looks like it right there all in the dirt. I mean, it still did still did a decent amount of damage even though it hit right in the dirt. Overall, if you're going to be out in the yard, like maybe you're going to be mowing grass or something like that, or you know you're trapping snakes and stuff along the lines of that, then I would definitely run snake shot or shot shell in your 22 Heritage revolver. If you're going to be going after stuff that's probably a little bit bigger, I would just upgrade straight to a normal 22 bullet. But other than that, for the performance. I'm gonna give the performance, uh, it's gonna be a five out of five when you're up close and the further you get back, the lower the performance is gonna be. But as long as you stay within that range, then I think you're gonna be quite okay. So go on out, get yourself some of this CCI shot and get to shooting.